Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Geo... Not Geopolitical, <laughs> uh, Dawn of Man, uh, playing the Northland campaign. We had two big kills in the last episode. A woolly rhino and a orok. I still haven't figured out how to pronounce that. It's a bull, it's a wild cow bull thing we killed. Uh, but there's also some reindeer that we saw that I do want to kill, because one more reindeer... Wood. There they are. All right, one more reindeer. I want to get a good one too. I want to get a big reindeer kill. Kill one more reindeer, and uh, there we go. Get that one. Get the stray there. If I kill one more reindeer, then uh, that'll give me another knowledge bonus point. And I'm trying to get to. What am I trying to get to here? Pottery to unlock the Mesolithic Era, and that requires 15 knowledge. We have 13. Wow, and I need two more. Alright, so hopefully this hunt will be successful. Everyone else is pretty busy. Did we get everything from that rhino? The kill was right around here. I think we got everything. Yep. A rhino and a bull. A wild bull. All of them killed. These two are available, too. Let's go ahead and get uh, another one. See if we can hunt down another one. There they are. Ugh, I'm running too far. Got it! No, no, no. Kill that one. It's young. We should be able to get it. Got it. Another easy kill there. Got the reindeer. That provides four meat and two bones. I hope I have enough uh, space for all this stuff. Looks like the food dryer is okay. Managed well, and the storage tent still has a lot more room. So I think um, our storage capacity and our production capacity is fine. Maybe I could even get like more skin dryers. I don't see any excess skin anywhere. I think our production facilities... <laughs> these are our production facilities, by the way. Um, right there. I think our production facilities... is all fine. We need more logs. Are we too low on logs? How are we looking at logs? Eight logs. Plenty of logs. Cut down another tree. Can we collect... Oh, no. Yeah, cut down that tree. Uh, wait a minute. Cancel that. I could use that for tanning and creating leather. Do I want to? Leather outfit. Oops. Let's turn that on. should start creating leather. That'd be a good spot. Alright, we'll start to gather whatever we need for leather. Tannin. That will help with our leather production and we can get some leather outfits. Nine raw skin. The other thing I wanted to do was build some more tents. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to do this. I'm going to put one right here. close to the total pole. I should have moved it over. That yeah, didn't matter, probably. Alright, two more tents. Uh, that boosts our capacity. Our capacity is 
15, you get 3 per 10, so that should boost our capacity over to 21. And we still have plenty of room in that storage sense, so I'm not worried about adding more storage. The huts add storage as it is. How many huts do I need for the next knowledge point? Is the question. Not huts, these are tents. I keep calling them huts. Huts come later. There you go, there's a hut. New human was born. Alright, we are procreating here. We've got plenty of food. 16 cured meat, 7 raw meat. Look at that, that's weird. I don't like that. Uh, plenty of fish coming in. We've got some pulses and vegetables that we bought. Looks like we ate all the bread that we bought or traded for. And when the summer comes, I'm going to go ahead and pick some more fruit and nuts. That, I guess I'll build another row of huts right there, or huts, tents right there. City design. Not my forte. <laughs> um, or I could put like a hearth there maybe. I wanted to keep everything close to where all the activity is. Build some more, I guess another line of huts that way. Alright, can you hunt anything? Plenty of things to hunt around here. What are those? Boar. I don't think we have a lot of boar. Is that a reindeer? I want a megalosaurus. I guess we could try to kill some boar. How are we looking on uh, knowledge points here? Three more reindeer will give us another knowledge point. They do go extinct. One boar. We haven't killed a boar yet. Let's go after the boar. And then we'll consider the reindeer. Boar will probably attack us, but I think we'll be able to kill it. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> This tree is a spruce, so we can cut that down. These tree, the firs, firs? I don't know how to say that. Um, now these ten bone tools, ten bone spears. Um, those trees you don't want to cut down. Those trees you need for tan tannin, which is needed for uh, tanning the material. But the spruce trees. We don't need them for anything except for wood. So spruce trees are a nice tree to cut down. And we're going to cut down all the spruce. So I'm going to focus on that. Cutting down spruce trees. Right here we've got a pear tree. And I don't know if we have any other fruits. Oh, we got some trees here. Some pear trees there. So we'll collect some pears. I don't have any oak trees. Oak trees, I think, provide nuts. What's that? That's a chestnut tree. Alright, so that will be a tree we can collect nuts from. I think in the fall you can collect nuts. And we're coming up on the summer soon. So that will allow us to... We've expanded our capacity in 21. Sticks. How much do these things cost again? These tons. Four sticks and two skins. We've got a lot of skins. I don't want to build too many because then if our population goes up too big, then we won't be able to feed everybody. But we got a good amount of food right now. Hunting is going really well, so okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring another line of tents in here. a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of expansion early on. Hopefully we'll be able to manage it. Let's cut down some more of these spruce trees. 
And now the pair, the summer, so the pairs are available. We'll collect the pairs as well. I don't think the chestnuts are available yet. Not yet. That's going to be the fall. But we do have a blueberry bush. And we've got some pear trees over here. And we've got some other uh, fruit over here as well. Blueberries. And another pear. Looks good. Alright, that should help uh, increase the food surplus to manage the population expansion that's coming here. And I probably should go ahead and build a tent. Tent number two. You can never have enough storage. I don't know if it's the best idea to put them this close to each other, but what the hell. Leave a little space for some other activities there. Other uh, pieces there. We probably should go kill something else. Need more skin. Another reindeer. Lots of reindeer out here. That looks like an easy rain. Is this reindeer already dead? Nope, not yet. It's gonna be dead. Got it. Lots of boar right there. We only have kids around here though. Kids aren't gonna be killing anything. These guys look idle. Kill the boar. We got a boar. Kill another one. Okay. I think we got a lot of activity for them right now. Tasks are at 150%. I gotta stop doing things. Alright. Let's just let time tick on and uh, no more tasks. People are overworked. 14 population. Because all these, look at all the building I'm doing down here, too. That's a lot of work. Something. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> like, what the, what's that noise? Can I prioritize? No, I can't prioritize. One more stick. There you go. Yeah, you gotta make sure you don't uh, overproduce or give them too many jobs because that will have a negative impact. But it is summer, and you can typically do typically do more in summer and rest in winter. That's typically my strategy. Going right in there with the raw meat, huh? Put the raw meat on the friggin' dryer. Okay. Okay. Plenty of dogs around here. This tent's almost done. Should reduce the workload. 93. Okay, good. Now we're down. I guess we carved up a bunch of people. We got the pears there. And I think we got most of the pears over there. How are we looking? Four fruit, two berries. Yeah, I think that's everything we wanted to pick for the summer. So we got our summer activities done. Boar has escaped. Ah, damn. Waste. Waste of time. Alright, this hunter's idle. That looks like a boar to kill. Got it. Is that the, another boar? Where was that idle hunter? Oh, 
Yeah, it slows down. Going to get sticks. Kill this thing. Should collect some more berries too if we could before the summer ends. We got some stuff across the river too. Is that one of our dogs? Cave lion. Ooh, I'd like to kill the cave lion. Cave lion is in the way of those fruit right there. Now he's moving. I want to kill a cave lion. No flint. Ah, damn. Sounds like we got the uh, boar right there. Where's that cave lion? that thing. Got three of them going after the cave line. Take a look at this. Eh. Oh, that looks like a tiger. You better wait for the, your friends there, buddy. How much fur we get from this? Oh boy. Got it. First animal hunted. Not much. Well, that clears up uh, room for grabbing this stuff. But I need flint. So, where can I find flint? Right there. That's a flint. We want to mine this stuff, though. So, in order to mine it... I need to build a flint mine, though. And in order to do that, I need a new technology. Underground mining, required for underground mining, which is sledge. Ooh, sledge making is actually pretty useful because uh, there's underground mining in the Neolithic Age. There's not too much technology in the Mesolithic Age, but they're going to be uh, costly as far as knowledge points. But um, yeah, I want to get into the Copper Age as quickly as possible, too. At least we have two flint mines, that's good. No more picks. No more flints. We have no picks. We need a pick for... We're gonna need a trader to come in. Flint pick. Our production situation is gonna... It's gonna be a problem with this, our production situation soon. Population is definitely going to grow, and we've got the storage for it. I think we've got the food surplus for it. Grab one more pear tree before the summer ends. Oh, and fruit. There's the strawberries there. We are running low. We need we need flint picks to collect the flint. That's stone. Unless there's flint just laying around, then I think we can grab it. What's that? 
stone. Oh, wait a minute, I saw it. We got it that. Good. Alright. How much is there? Ten, not bad. We can cancel that task. Okay. Ten logs, we don't have a lot of sticks though. There still are a lot of sticks in that area. Add a worker there. I got it. I know we got no flinch. And fruit acquire. That's a knowledge point. One more knowledge point, and we'll get to the Mesolithic area. These people are all pretty tired, it looks like. Right? Yeah, they need rest. I shouldn't assign them anything else. No more tasks. I've given them enough work to do. 100% workload. I don't think I needed that extra hut. Storage hut. Tent. Sorry, I keep saying that. Get some rest, guys. We got a lot of food here. Lots of fruit and berries. It's a good gathering season and a good hunting season. Very good. Should have plenty to survive the winter. We just need flint. That's the priority at this point. There's ten flint to gather. And once we create a pick, one thing I should probably do is build another crafter. Where to put them? Probably right here by the stone. You would think. Two crafters right next to each other. Population's getting pretty crowded. We're gonna have to chop down some of these trees. Even though we don't want to cut down the furs. Fur? Fears? I don't know how to say that. Could gather. Put a gathering area right here. That would be a good amount. Logs. We got ten. Okay, that's fine. And later on, logs become a big issue. Later on in the game, you need logs. Alright, we're in the fall now. So, gather some chestnuts. Right? Where is that? There it is. Chestnut gather. You can see them pretty easily, actually. When you know what to look for. Pear tree. We get enough chestnuts and get another gathering point for that. I think two summers will have enough, two falls will have enough chestnuts. Or chestnuts, chestnut knowledge points. Where are they? Right here. We need eight. I don't think I'm going to have eight. Nah, but next next summer we'll have it. Or next fall we'll get it. But it's gonna be time to start cutting down some of these trees for sure, I think. We gotta create some more space. Let's cut this one down. And no more work. No more work for now. It's plenty. 86%. 86%. That's not bad. Got a lot of people. 14 for the dawn of man in early civilization. I guess the cave lion. Hunting a cave lion. That'll be my title. If anyone on Patreon watches this before it's posted on YouTube, feel free to suggest titles. It's another perk I'd like to grant the Patreons because I don't know how to pick a title. Ten tents built. So we got the knowledge point for that. I said we build more tents this way. And then we should build crafters around here. Or I could put a crafter over here. By the storage tent. They should be near the stone piles, though. Or rock piles. We can do another rock pile somewhere. Yeah. 
Alright, I think we got enough food to survive the winter. I hope. Trader has arrived. Excellent. Alright, I need you, sir. What can you give me? I will take all the food you can give me. I don't need straws yet. That's interesting. Eh, we'll take a log. I guess I'll take those too. I don't need anything else. Nah, I don't want to do that either. Um, What do I trade for? We are moving towards bone weapons, so let's get rid of our wooden tools. That's it. Uh, four pulses, four vegetables, one log, and two of these tannin materials in exchange for one wooden spear and one wooden harpoon. Deal. And we got another knowledge point with that. Oh, and we are now into... The Mesolithic Age. Yes. Pottery unlocked. Is that not a milestone? I think the milestones give you a little show. Alright, we are now in the Mesolithic Era. I don't think there's anything new to build with this. Crafter, we already have that. Nope, nope, nope. What came with that knowledge? With pottery, we could get water and well digging, but I don't think we need water. Let's see if they gather water. I want stone polishing, and that's seven points away. Nice. Green processing. Build a haystack, process flour, sledge making, that's a nice one. Pulse processing, required for cereal domestication. I think this one would grant us some farming. Oh no. That's the one that grants us farming, cereal domestication. And then there's pulse domestication. So that's the farming route. This one I like, but there's a lot of good stuff in this area. All right, so we need a lot more knowledge points. Part four, population reached 15, three knowledge points, and two new humans have entered the settlement. And our capacity, nice, another one. Um, and our capacity is at 30. I think I want to build another crafter. I think I want them right here. I like to have two crafters going on. Be right there. Yeah. Should be good. How are we looking on skins? 13 dry skin. Beautiful. Beautiful. A lot of stuff being made here. Flint pick. And let's work that mine there. I don't want them going into the river during the winter. All right, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we're going to try to survive another winter. Um, please feel free to comment down below, like the video if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. See you in the next episode. Thank you. For